bottom for all this elk. Pulling out the forks. Number 30. Okay, it's out. This guy here. Okay, so I have to pull it out with a long nose player, I think. Come, I'll be back. There it is. So, yeah, you have to pry it out. You have to pry out the screw itself out of the way. Like so. See? I pulled out the screw. Yep, so pry it down. Yeah. This one is out. Okay, so we got this out of the way. Okay, so what do we do next? Oops! Have to pull this out right here, Eduardo. It says, "Yeah, pull the airbag assembly out of steering wheel hub and gently set it down top of the steering wheel." So okay, so here. this is what it looks like, right? Yes. So it goes like this, and you push it in. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So you push it in, and goes through. Okay, which is what this one is doing right here. See, right. So people can see exactly what you just push this out with the screwdriver like this right and then that thing will come off easy right yep all right so next thing we do is pull this guy out right and then the ground i'm gonna pull out the ground right here okay so the next thing to do would be to uh, pry this plastic tab out and then try to see if we can pull out this green this is the horn for the horn right yep. That's a horn ground. So, okay, let's go ahead and uh, go to the table and we're gonna try to pry it up. Okay, so it says there, I don't know if you can see it, but you have to push from the top and then just pull it out. Right there, you see? There's that little tab that catches it. See? So, I think we're gonna use that. Okay, and then we're gonna pull this out, right? Yep, there's a little tab there. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that this tab goes on top. So it was like this, right? And it was installed at the bottom. Because it's gonna be hard to pull it out once we insert. So we're just gonna insert it exactly the same way it was positioned in the other one, right? okay so that the tab is lifting so we have to insert it the same way okay this tab is getting caught in the hole so what we're gonna do is push it in push it in hope it works Okay, so that's the top. Oops. I want to make sure that that top doesn't break off when I push this in. Okay, so it's not going in right. Okay, so it's in there. So I need to push it in a little bit. Hopefully it goes in right. There you go. There it is. Same thing. Okay, so that's a snap. Yeah, it's snapped in.
I think. Yep, I heard it. You heard it? Okay. So next thing we do is what? Put this cover back in. Yep, there it snaps in. Snaps in. So all we need to do is now make a hole for this guy, right? Let's see. Okay, so these are the holes. You have one hole right here and one hole right here. I'm going to measure that hole and see what screw would go in because I don't know, right? Yep. And then we're going to put a hole somewhere in here, somewhere here to take this in, right? Yep. So the way we're going to do this, I'm going to make a hole about right here. And hope it's the right spot. Oh, that's too easy. Okay, so this is the initial hole, right? So make sure this one goes in. Okay, I need to go. I need to go wider. Which way do you want? Do I need to go? This way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Making a hole with a dremel is much easier. Shit. Okay, so it won't go in. I need to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, that's hot. Okay, let's go. So I'm just eyeballing the size of this hole right here for now and make sure that this guy goes in okay it won't go in it's too small okay so it has to go in like this okay I need to go a little bigger I wonder do I need to go up this way or do I go yeah, down look, look here so you need to be going this way. Down that way? Yep. Okay. Left. Okay, when you say left, which go which way? In this left. Yes. Left left is this way? Yep. Just cleaning up the hole. Like that? Yep. Let's try it. You need to drill even more. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah, I, but, yeah, it should be in that general direction. Yeah, I just don't wanna I just don't wanna um make a hole that's too big that we don't need. Right. So which way do I go? Yeah. Should I, I be cutting yeah. bottom or top? Top. Top, okay. So just continue in that same direction. Alright. Okay, it's easier to cut some more than over cutting it. There you go. It's going in. Okay, just a little bit more. Maybe. Okay, I don't 
and the dip. Dremel's much also much cleaner to use. Okay, so I guess I guess I need to make a wider hole. Should I go this way? Yes, toward the steering wheel. Toward the steering wheel. Okay. Okay, so we're we're trying to get this big of a hole, right? Yep. Because that's what we're trying to get here, so they'll understand that. Okay, so I need to get more. Yeah, you should be drilling towards the steering this wheel. way. Yes, steering wheel. Okay. My length is okay, right? Yep. The width of the... Uh... Looks good. Okay. I shouldn't force it. What do you think? Yeah, you should. Whoa, whoa, that hot. melted plastic is hot. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, went in. Now does it match with the holes? Perfect. So, so now I have to cut a little bit this way, see? You see how when I go like this? It's hitting the plastic? Yeah. My, uh, it's moving right here so i have to cut about this area right here yep let me see if i just clean this up let's see if, if that will help so if i go here oh what do you think let me see i need to find out where it's hitting let me see okay this one right here this guy right here about well, this guy okay all right shouldn't be hard okay this area right here is hitting okay right here right. So we go there. Perfect. Okay, so the hole is completed. The only thing we need to do is find some screws. To... Find the screw that goes in there. Yep. Let me go ahead and uh... Okay, so we got these screws 16 10, by 16. 10 16 by 3 quarter. 3 quarter long, yeah. And they look like this. So we will be trying to use those to mount it to the steering wheel assembly. Let's see if we can tap it in. All right. Okay. I need I need the extension for this plug. Or are you trying to create a thread? Or? Yes, it's a self-tapping screw, so... Okay. If you can see, it's right there. I'm kind of screwing it in right now. Okay. I think um, three quarters too long. But uh, I'm going to put some uh, some washers just to make up for it although a three quarter one half should be okay
Yeah, because uh, it's gonna hit. Yeah, see? So, three quarter, one half should be uh, good enough. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna. I didn't realize that the. Uh, Okay, so I tap a uh, some thread in there. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in there. Ew! Ah, vacuum it later. That way, stick it in there. Now, I wonder, this is gonna be too long. See? I wonder how much. Let me just see how, how much distance I have, and then I will just. Uh, I'm trying to feel on the back side to see if I'm hitting it. Yep. So I need about two washers. Or three maybe. I yeah. I think okay, I have two choices. Put some washers in it or just uh, get some shorter get something shorter so it's gotta be half inch okay if I could just cut this off if I could just cut this off then I should be okay why don't I just cut that huh? I got the Dremel let's cut it okay okay so we cut one of the screws and we're just gonna see if it goes in there Oh yeah. You know what? I forgot. I think I'm gonna put a, uh, a thread lock in there. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. I still haven't done the other screw anyways. Um, I'm gonna cut the other screw. Cut the other screw, get a uh, thread lock, stick it in there, and we're almost done. As I said earlier, we're gonna put a thread lock on this guy let's put ah oh, you know what if i put too much it's okay i'm not uh, not planning to uh pull it out anyway so let's go ahead and ah oh, crap <laughs> I need to be able to stick this in there. Maybe let's guide it in there first. There you go. There it is. Right in. I'm not gonna tighten it to death. I'm 
Okay, I'm just gonna put some uh, threadlock on this guy. There you go. Okay, that should work. Now, this one goes to the uh, this one goes to this ground right here, right? I think, right there, and then uh, this one should go right here. There you go. See, here's my uh, switch. It's not interfering, so it's moving freely. So the next thing we need to do is put this guy back in and I hope it's not going to be an issue. So apparently this goes here, those, I have to match them up. So, I'll grab my number 30. My T30 is right here. Let's see if this guy goes in. It should match up. Oh, yeah, it caught, caught, caught it. And then this guy right here. Right, I see it. It's a little convincing. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are tabs in there. I have to push it in. Okay, so tighten it up. Tighten this guy up. There you go. Okay. And then um put the core back in. There are three screws. One, two, and three. So this one goes over and in here what i miss go over the okay go over this tab right there okay oops that doesn't look right yeah some of them look go over some of them go under okay oh yeah right here i i missed it right here oh okay so what it is is there are little tabs in there that you have to match little pegs yeah see there's a little I like these yeah those little pegs right there should match so now last thing we need to do is tighten up well as far as you know, this concerned. oops i just lost it okay all right um i need the key for the car so i could turn the steering wheel Alright, so there's one here. Damn, I'm swiping. There you go. That one goes right there. Not too tight because that's plastic. And this one right here. Okay. So the last screw went in there. And now you can see this mounted. Alright. So 
Battery's going back. I can hear it beeping already, so... Test the horn. All right. Wow, we need gas. So, shall we push this? Whoa. Yep. Check it out. So when you push the cruise light, or look at the cruise, then you get a cruise right there. So on and off. There you go. Alright, so there's a cruise light. Okay, I have debris on the highway. Sign about. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Cruise. Up. Speed up. Okay, I'm speeding up. I'm speeding up and let's see if it holds. Okay, so it's holding down. Three, three taps down so that's about 54 that's good one tap up so I would say it's a successful installation what do you think yep that less than successful. an hour work right yep and total cost is under $40 also so that's really good that's really good so I'm just gonna do something about this hole get a grommet most of them just cover with like a fabric. Oh, really? And they just like a. It's not a big deal. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Hope you like it. Please like it. <laughs> right.